Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, August 28th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across, we get a wordplay clue right off the bat. Divine instrument. Okay, so this is not going to be about a person that's being used as a divine instrument. Hmm, I wonder if it's about a harp, you know, because it's kind of angels stereotypically play harps up in heaven. Is there a specific kind of harp that they play? Could this be an H? Rival of the 62 down. Bridge of Spies org? Bridge of Spies was a movie, wasn't it? Hmm. Rival of the Bridge of Spies org? I have a feeling this is going to be about like the CIA and the KGB maybe. Hmm. I guess I could be getting these reversed. Let's put them in and see if that helps to build off of at least. Big initials in security. Um, isn't the security company called ADT? Hmm. These letter combinations are not looking great. I'm not even 100% sure about that, actually. Area with lots of schools? I really want this to be about the ocean somehow. Maybe it's a lake? Boy, <laughs> these letter combinations are looking terrible. Pops. Is this another word for a father? Daddy, maybe? I like those Ds at the end of the words here. Oh my god, what a mess we've created. Okay, <laughs> I think multiple of these are going to be incorrect here. Um, hmm. A general estimate. Hmm. This is a Saturday, so I'm so skeptical of every single clue. Is it about an estimate that a military general would give? Hmm. It's not just a ballpark, right? No, that's too short. Implored? Hmm. Boy. I'm gonna take all of this out, except for maybe daddy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can't think of any good synonyms for implored right off the bat. I know there's a bunch out there. Hmm. Column on a survey. Is this like a census survey, maybe? Let's try these downs here. Long shot informally. Informally. Hmm. Prime. Oof, this is one of those really ambiguous clues. Hmm. Pattern of monotony. Hmm. It has to be a pattern of some kind, so it's not just a slog or something, right? Hmm. Folktale figure? Uh, there's a lot of options there. Could be an ogre, maybe. UK's tallest building named for its look. Whew. Oh boy. Um, I don't know if I know this. Is it the egg? Is that the tallest building in the UK? Hmm. I don't know if it is or not. Boy, okay, let's see if we can maybe build into this section. I don't know, we only have one hope of building back into here though. That frightens me a little bit. South Beach and others. I think there's one South Beach that is kind of like a workout area where you see a lot of people lifting weights. I don't know if that's in like Miami or if it's in California somewhere. Hmm. South Beach, there's so many places called South Beach though. It has daily openings with the daily openings. Hmm. Noted Hungarian born conductor. Oh my God. Uh, is it Berthold Brecht maybe? No, that's too long. I don't even know if he was Hungarian. Burden. This could be a verb or a noun. Hmm. Symbol for stock volatility in finance. Hmm. I think I know this. I think it's a Greek letter. 
It's not alpha, I don't think. Hmm, I do believe it is a Greek letter though. Is it theta? I don't think it's theta either. Hmm. Greenland residence. I wonder if this is asking about the native residents of Greenland. Hmm. Be patient, an equivalent phrase. Wait a minute, no. Hang on a sec would fit. Hmm. Popular brand on New Year's Eve informally. Brand. Is it champagne? Is it Moe, maybe? It's a brand of champagne. Oh my god, is this our first, like, solid answer? <laughs> okay. Myrmecophobes fear? I have no idea what a myrmecophobe is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we're going to learn a lot of things on today's puzzle. This could be Sigma. Yeah, that seems like a plausible possibility. Okay, maybe that's helping. The chloride in sodium chloride, e.g. Hmm. Is it an ion of some kind? Maybe it's an anion? I'm not 100% sure what the definition of that is, but I've heard that word before. Um, the letters all look good. Yeah, this could be give it a sec or something, right? Maybe that's good enough to put in. One might be down for a nap. Oh my God. Is this about a down blanket? Would it be a duvet? That's a great wordplay clue, but I don't like down blankets, so I'm gonna be a little ambivalent about that one. <laughs> okay, burden could be saddle maybe? All right, we're finally making progress in one corner. Okay, maybe Greenland residents could be Inuits possibly? And then I guess Myrmecophobes fear could be ants? Okay. Oh, South Beach is a kind of diet also. It's not just a place, the South Beach diet. Yeah, it was a fad diet. Okay, there we go. All right, hopefully this will help us break back up into this section. Hmm, shoot, I definitely still don't know this conductor. It abuts Santa Monica for short. Um, well, I know Santa Monica's like in the Los Angeles area. And I think it's like to the Northwest. Um, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be West LA. And then, oh, it's the Dow because the Dow is a stock index that opens every day, I guess. Is that right? Maybe. I mean, stock markets open every day. The Dow isn't really a market though, it's just a, an index of the market. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what else could fit though. Unless it's like do. That doesn't really make sense. Huh. Pops. I think salty is a conductor. I have a feeling maybe this is going to be a verb. Um, although maybe it's just a different slangy word for dad. Maybe it's dadas. Maybe. It has those Ds that are nice. Um, define instrument. Hmm. Well, we have this F here. That's unusual. Yeah, okay. That gives us reef, I think. We were thinking about the right type of answer. We just put the wrong one in. Um, hmm. Divine. It almost looks like it's gonna end in sword. That's weird. General estimate. Hmm. Shoot. Oh man. Okay, we're still in trouble here. Maybe we could get some more help with this answer. Um, although I guess if we put KGB back in, will that help? 
Hmm. Doesn't seem like it helps that much. Implored. Yeah, I don't know. Let's leave this area and hope that we can build back into it. Stage set. And this is wordplay. So I guess this is not going to be about a theater stage. Hmm. Maybe it's about a set of people on a stage, like the cast? I don't know. Steaming? I guess that could just be angry. Steaming is another way to describe someone that's really angry. Spam might be kept in it. Is this literally talking about the mystery meat spam? Hmm. Or is it talking about email? I don't know. Looks like we've got a grid spanner here. Ready for action. An equivalent phrase. Huh. Maybe... The end of this is wrong. It seems like it's not helping. Round trip for one. And this is more wordplay. Maybe instead of this being about a round trip for one person, it's saying the phrase round trip is an example of this thing for one. Like this is one example of whatever round trip is. Hmm. What is round trip? What could that be an example of? Huh. When restraint and blank are added to strength, the latter becomes irresistible. Gandhi. Hmm. Well, it's going to be some kind of attribute. All right, we kind of ran out of things to build on. Let's see if we can work on some of these downs here. Steaming. Oh my god. Okay, another steaming. Okay. Um... Hmm. Is it just mad? I just want it to be about anger. Maybe this angry is not correct. Um, these letters didn't really seem to help that much, although they're good letters to be at the end. Hmm. Violent sounding songbird. Violent. Hmm. The name of the bird is something that sounds violent, maybe? I don't know. Stockholder? Well, this is probably not about the stock that would be on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is probably about cattle, so it's probably a yoke, maybe? Uh, isolates oneself. And we're gonna need to put oneself at the end here. Hmm. Interesting. Day blank? Shouldn't that be a day spa? I want this to be an S here. Is it not yoke? Hmm. Be something that ends in P? What else could you use to hold cattle? A barn? Hmm. Interesting. Opposite of standing. I don't think it's going to be sitting. This is a Saturday puzzle after all. Hmm. Info tracked on Google Docs. Info. Is it users? Kind of keeps a tally of the users that are viewing a document, right? Can that you be helpful? With 46 down farm sound? Oh man. So it's this and then this right in a row? I don't know about this U. Hmm. I want it to be like Bob, Bob, but you really shouldn't have two identical entries in the same grid unless it's part of a theme. Hmm. I can't think of a farm sound that's like two words and they're not the same word. You know, it's usually like moo moo or ba ba, something like that. Huh, that's interesting. 
western city on the Humboldt River. Oh my goodness. I do not know where the Humboldt River is. All right. Got to keep looking for toeholds here. Bridge of Spies co-star 2015. Oh, hey. Another Bridge of Spies reference. Okay. Um, Bridge of Spies. I haven't seen this movie. Um, was it Tom Hanks? I think it might have been. I think he was in that. Let's see if we can build off of that. We're kind of desperate. Um, okay. Animal personification of Christ in fiction. Wasn't Christ the lamb? Lamb would not fit. Hmm. Is this like a specific piece of fiction they're talking about? Hmm. Trick in a way. Trick. Hmm. Is this about putting one over on someone? Or pranking someone? Hmm. Where to see stars late at night? And this is wordplay, so... It's probably not going to be about celestial stars. Maybe it's about celebrities? Where would you see celebrities late at night? Some kind of club, maybe? Hmm. Some are natural, abbreviated. Oh my goodness. This is so generic. Hmm. Put away. That should probably be eat. Putting away is another way to describe eating something. Sarcastic remark to a slowpoke. Okay. Um, sarcastic. Well, if it's sarcastic, it should be ironic. So it should be like slow down or something, right? Or like easy there. Hmm. Boy, this puzzle is so hard. My eye. An equivalent phrase, you say my eye when you don't believe someone, right? What's another phrase that could describe not believing someone? Like, yeah, right, as if. I'll bet. Hmm, none of those fit. Can we build off of the CIA down here? Monty Python and the Holy Grail feature. Feature. Hmm. Is this about something that's in the movie? There were so many different things in that movie. Oh man. I have a feeling it is going to be about something in the movie. Black Knight? No, that doesn't fit. Hmm. Kind of zone? Oh, these clues are so general. Kind of zone. Who Rodin called the Colossus of Art. Oh my god, okay. Well, Rodin was a sculptor, right? Is it another sculptor? It's not Picasso. Data storage acronym. Huh. It's not megabyte or gigabyte or anything. Hmm. Piano. But you can't blank fish. Classic joke punchline. You can play a piano, but you can't play fish? I don't know if I've heard this joke. Hmm. Performers wish me luck? Uh, is it just I'm on? Maybe? I don't know if that necessarily means they want you to wish them luck. Like neon colors. Uh, they're bright. <laughs> oh man, we just need any kind of help we can get. Long ago, long ago. So kind of archaic way of saying long ago. It's not once. That's not archaic sounding enough, I don't think. Hmm. Is it like sign? Like an old lang sign? That means since. Old lang sign is like old, long since. 
Maybe it's sign. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a desperate guess. Hmm. These letters look good, though. This is a great word to be at the right edge of a grid. A barrier to entry. Hmm. I wonder if we can get this corner since it mirrors this one that we were able to fill out. Let's try and do that. Grenade in video games. That's a frag. If you've played Halo, you know that. Okay. Title hero of a 2021 Pixar film. Oof. Um, I haven't seen any Pixar films that came out this year. Wasn't there the one that um, that was about like mermaids that could turn into humans or something? Or it was like mer boys? I remember seeing a trailer. What was that called? I think maybe it might be that movie. Country singer Crystal. Oof. Don't know that one. Proceeder of many a play's climax. Uh, that should be act two, maybe, if it's a three-act play. Like many scenes of the artist Jean-Francois Millet. Oh my goodness, okay. This puzzle is coming out swinging. Okay, battle with trolls, say? This has got to be about, um, like, battling with trolls online, probably. Flame war? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, a flame war is, I guess, kind of a battle with trolls online. Not necessarily. It could just be two people insulting each other back and forth, but I think that's a pretty good answer. Uh, yeah, I think it was starting with L. Is it Luca? Hmm. It might be. I'm not 100% on that, though. Letters on a box with letters. A box with letters. <laughs> it's letters that get sent in the mail. Okay, so it's going to be letters on a mailbox. Yes, and that would be US mail. Very nice. That's a great... I don't really know what to call this. I guess it would be a homograph clue. They look the same, but they mean different things. Yeah, that's pretty great. All right, put away... So it's not going to be about eating. Um, maybe this one is about stowing. Like literally putting something in storage. Hmm. C20. Oh, right. This is the farm sound clue. Hmm. Is it bow wow? That's a dog sound. I mean, you would hear that outside of a farm. Huh. Flamingo, e.g. This is a Saturday, so it's got to not be about a bird, right? Is there some other kind of flamingo? I don't know. Word with earth or bird. I think I just had a little spark of an idea up here. I kind of abandoned this section for now. Um, I think, I was thinking maybe we could switch KGB and CIA. There's no reason why it had to be in that first order, right? So that would give us CIA up here. And then I was thinking, this is looking like it's gonna be card. Um, and I was thinking at first, oh, maybe it's like a divining rod, like something you would use to divine water. But then I was thinking, well, if it's a card, maybe it could be a tarot card. And that's kind of used in a different kind of divination, right? Like you're trying to divine the future. Yeah, all right. So that gives us tarot card. And then hopefully we can build off of that. Maybe it is ADT after all. Maybe that was one answer that was actually correct over here. And then... Wait, no, it's ADT, not ATD. Yeah, and then this ends in idea. That's good. Um... I would want it to be general idea, but that can't be because general's in the clue. Um, maybe it's a rough idea. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, this is like pulling teeth. Long shot informally. Maybe this is a long shot in basketball, like a three point shot. Those are called trays slangily. 
Oh my goodness, okay. Prime? I guess it could be A1. A prime choice is like the top-notch choice. A1 is another way to say that something is really primo. Okay. Pattern of monotony. Is it ruts? Is it just ruts? Maybe this is yes, no column on a survey? Uh, no, that can't be right, because this is really looking like ogre, like how we kind of were thinking originally. And then, hmm, implored could be entreated. That's like you're begging someone. Um, is this yeses? Is that how to pluralize yes? And then this could be ruts. Mm, would this be an S? Oh shoot, I don't know this. Oh man. <laughs> it starts with the, that's so unhelpful. Named for its look. Is it the Spire? Uh, let's take out Tom Hanks. He is not helping at all. Okay. Uh, it could be the Spire, maybe. Uh, I don't know what sound would start with a P. Farm sound. Hmm. This would be an I, possibly. I have no idea who's in Bridge of Spies. Oh, man. Boy, if you watched Bridge of Spies, you had a huge advantage on this puzzle. <laughs> Mag, whose first cover featured Michael Jordan and two young fans. First cover. Ooh, you know what I bet this is? I think I actually had this for a little while when I was a kid. I think it might be Sports Illustrated for Kids. That would make sense because it specified two young fans. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so hard. Um, okay, I think Western City has to be Western United States, but it's not Reno if SI for Kids is right. I don't know if I can think of what this city would be. It's not users, opposite of standing. Hmm. I really like this answer. Oh, I just, <laughs> I was just going over possibilities of this joke in my mind and I just hit on one. I think the joke has to be you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Hilarious. All right. I'm sure all of us cruciverbalists appreciate the funny wordplay in that joke. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's going to help us here at all, though. I was thinking maybe, as you can see, I've been fast forwarding a lot just while I'm thinking about possibilities of things. I was thinking this long answer might be Thrasher. I'm not sure if that's a bird, but it kind of sounds familiar. And that would be kind of violent sounding. And that gave me an S here. And I was thinking maybe this is a style, like a turnstile. Um, but that would be a Y here. And that would mean sign was wrong, but it would work with tuna. So. You know, we're not getting any help from this stuff, so maybe we can put it in on a contingent basis and see if it helps at all. Hmm. Like neon colors. Huh. I don't know. Although a turnstile is S-T-I-L-E, right? Oh, maybe it is still I'm on. Okay. Maybe that's actually working out okay. All right, we have a little bit of crossing help here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in Thrasher and see if that helps. Maybe Rodan would have called Rembrandt the Colossus of Art? That seems like the right era. Um, Maybe neon colors are loud? They are, in a figurative sense. 
Uh, long ago. Hmm. Okay, so this is not going to be about something in the movie. This is going to be a feature of the movie. Uh, it's got to be humor. Um, something humor. Shouldn't this be spelled with a U? This is a British movie. I'm thinking maybe this is Latin. Could it be erat? Like quad erat demonstratum? QED? I think that means has been. I don't know if that means long ago. It doesn't quite mean the same thing. I don't know about that. Maybe it's erst? Erstwhile? Does erst mean long ago? I don't know. I guess it could maybe. G-E-N-O-U-S. I mean, it looks like a plausible end of a word. Genus? It's not homogenous. Is it erogenous zone? Yes. Okay, so it is erst. And an erogenous zone is like the ears on a Ferengi, maybe? Yeah, okay. All right. Um, is this ROM read-only memory? Okay. Rare earth, rare bird, yes. Okay, those are both examples of things that can be rare. Um, hmm. Maybe this is dark humor? Is it dark humor? I guess there was some dark humor in it. Um, I guess a flamingo is an example of a waiter. Okay, we were overthinking that one a little bit, maybe. All right, well, we're starting to get the corners filled in. We're closing in on the center here. I wonder if this is just pshaw. Yeah, that's something you would say when you don't believe someone, right? My god, that's hard. Okay, um... Is this like cacaw? That's something a crow says. It's not a farm animal. Is it hee-haw? Okay, it is. It's a donkey sound. Okay. And also, I think a television show, right? Hee-haw? Okay. Whew. That took a long time to see. Okay, so... You know what, maybe it's not act two. Maybe this is not a three act play. Maybe it's a five act play. That would make it act four and then put away this tricky word put. It's a verb. It's not making this phrase an adjective. It's not something that has been put away. It is to put away. And that would be shelve, right? It's a way of putting something away. And then I think this scenes of artist Jean-Francois Millet, I think it must be rural. It's just the only thing that's plausible there. And then I think we can probably go ahead and put in Luca. And then this is probably Gale Crystal. I think that's the only thing that makes sense. And then maybe this is a party. Maybe it's an after party. So this is not eat? Oh my god. Okay, so this has to be after party. Put away, oh my god. It, again, we're running into the tricky put. Put can be present tense or past tense, in addition to being able to be an adjective or a verb. So this is going to be eight in the past tense. Wow, that's fantastic. I mean, it's so, so hard, um, these two. Because put is probably just the most ambiguous word you could use in a crossword clue. Um, yeah, I kind of love how diabolically difficult that was. Okay, so maybe this is no rush, yes. That is a very sarcastic thing to say to a slowpoke. Um, is this Aslan? It is a specific piece of fiction. It's the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Oh my god, yeah. That's the name of the lion, right? That was kind of like the Christ figure. All right. Trick in a way. I'm, I'm really happy it's looking like SI for Kids is working out. <laughs> that really helped out a lot. I'm glad I had that in the recesses of my memory. Um, ready for action. Let's go get them. No, not quite. Is this a E maybe though? This could be a lie to maybe. That would be a way of tricking someone. If we could get this, that would be so, so helpful. 
Maybe it's Alan Alda. Does he get his full name in the puzzle today? That's nice. That's a nice kind of tribute to our old crossword standby, Alan Alda. Okay, so maybe this is just numbers, natural numbers, right? As opposed to like irrational numbers or imaginary numbers. Yeah, okay. Oh my God, that's some advanced mathematics there. It does start with let's. Um, okay, so this is not the spire, but maybe it's the shard. I think maybe I have heard of this. This is yeses. Oh my God, okay. Hmm. Maybe this is edits? That would be tracked on Google Docs. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Is it let's do this thing? Please let it be let's do this thing. Okay, it's looking like it's going in that direction. So it's not a sec. Oh yeah, we should probably should have taken that out. I don't know if it would have helped, but... Elko? Elko? Where in the world is Elko? I've never heard of that. Let's do this thing, yeah. All right, let's do this thing. Let's finish this Saturday puzzle. Okay, so maybe this is ad hoc, like an ad hoc committee as opposed to a standing committee. Like it's only formed for a specific purpose and then it disbands as opposed to a standing committee, which would be around all the time whenever you needed them. Yeah, okay, wow, this is so hard. This Saturday, my goodness. Um, okay, round trip for one. Hmm. Well, now that we've removed a lot of the wrong answers, hopefully these will come to us. Maybe this is give it time. That makes sense. Um, round trip. Just trying to think of all the different meanings round trip could have. Is it like a trip around the world or is it like a trip to get a round of alcohol? Is it a trip that you take when you play a round of golf? Hmm, so many possibilities. Okay, steaming, I guess it could just be hot. Uh, okay, so, ah man, it wasn't, 4-1 wasn't trying to make an example of the term round trip. It is just a round trip for one person, and that is a solo homer in baseball. Yeah, because only one person would be rounding the bases. Whew, okay, I do like that one too. These are just so tricky. Um, maybe this is silos oneself. Yeah, that would be a way of isolating yourself figuratively, especially like in a business context, you would hear that term. Um, oh my God, it's soup. <laughs> it wasn't about cattle. Ugh. Oh my God, okay. I've just been like off base on every guess it feels like, except for maybe this reef. I think that's the only one I got kind of right away. Um, is it courtesy when restraint and courtesy are added to strength? Yeah, it's gotta be, okay. And then stage set, is that a set of lines? Like some lines that you would learn would be a stage set, I guess. Spam might be kept in it. Yeah, it could be kept in a tin. Yeah, we were talking about mystery meat. Okay. All right. Well, before our time gets too much higher, let's see if that does it for us. <laughs> 50 minutes. Holy moly. What a marathon. Well, if you wanted a difficult puzzle, this is the one for you. There is just so much tricky cluing in here. Um... I think I really liked it. The only thing that maybe tripped me up is some proper noun stuff. There was a little bit of proper noun crossing, but it really wasn't that bad. Like Alan Alda crossing the shard maybe was a little tough. Um, but you know what? Overall, it's really not that bad. There's not that many proper nouns. And we just had so many great wordplay clues. Divine Instrument for Tarot Card is just fantastic. And of course, this solo Homer wordplay was also really great. And this South Beach misdirection really makes you think of, you know, all of the actual beaches that are called South Beach and not the diet. It's so good. Erogenous, what a great piece of fill here. Rembrandt is also really good. I mean, this is another proper noun, but you know, it's a really famous painter. It's fine. Um, and then we had this really tricky 
put away double whammy here for shelve and eight. Not only do you not know like what you're putting away or if it's about eating or what, but you know, you have to figure out the proper tense also on top of everything else. So hard. And then this letters homograph clue is great. US mail. Flame War is a great piece of fill too. Of course, I liked this Thrasher clue. Got to learn about a new name for a bird species. That's fantastic. And this, this was so difficult. This barrier to entry, like a turnstile. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, man, this puzzle just did not relent. It was just unrelentingly difficult. And we also learned a couple of new things on this puzzle. We learned what an anion was. We learned where the heck Elko is. Yeah, and this had a very nice grid spanner in the middle too. A very enthusiastic, let's do this thing to get us hyped up. Yeah, I'm glad that kind of gave us our second wind, I think, once we got that one. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this crushingly difficult Saturday puzzle with me. I'll be interested to hear your solving experiences down in the comments. How did you fare on this Saturday puzzle? Probably one of the hardest puzzles of the year. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice, long, lazy Sunday solve. It'll be hopefully very refreshing after this experience. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.